In this video, I'm going to show you three commands that you can use to help sift through files or find a specific thing you're looking for throughout the entire computer, and it's very fast. Now, before we start, all these commands have multiple flags or options that you can use, and I highly recommend you look into them as a lot of these commands can get super powerful once you learn how to use the flag. I'm going to show you how to use the basic flags for right now so you can at least be able to sift through your computer and find the files you're looking for. So the first command I'm going to show you is find. This command allows you to find files by name or type on the computer. Now the way we start this command is in terminal, find, the directory you want to search, so in this case slash home, and then dash name, and the file we're looking for. It has to be the specific type. So for right now, we're going to look for apple.txt. So when we do that, it shows us exactly where it's located, slash home, slash cp, apple.txt. So if we go there, cp, slash oh. And then we do an ls, it's right there. Apple.txt is right there. Find is also useful for finding a specific file type. So let's say we want to find all the JPEGs on this computer, or more specifically in the home directory. We would do find slash home dash name star, which stands for all dot JPEGs. All right, once we do that, we see there is a JPEG in home slash Sam and home slash Tom. So if we check home slash Sam, open LS, we see that there is an orange.jpg, and we can assume so for uh, Tom. Now, the next command I'm going to teach you is grep. Grep is a very powerful tool. It lets us find text inside files, and it lets you filter out specific things when you uh, in a command, right, through pipes. First thing I'm going to do is to grep for specific text in the uh, some files, right? So let's clear this out. So the command starts off with grep dash I R L. So these flags stand for non case sensitive, recursive, and the file name. So I R L, the text, right? So let's say I want the text to be pineapple. If I wanted to see if there was a text file with pineapple in it, and then the and then the directory you want to look for. So we're gonna do slash home. And we see that pineapple is located in the text files apple.txt and pineapple.txt. So if I were to do slide pico and see what's in there, I can see that pineapple is an apple. And then let's pico the other text file that has pineapple in it. And we see that pineapple is also in that one. Now, grep also allows us to filter out commands through a specific text. So I'm going to show you an example of sifting through a command to find specific files. So let's say I were to list all the contents in the home directory, right? There's a lot of stuff here and we're only looking for, let's say, text files, right? So I'm going to type the text again, ls r, and then I'm going to add a pipe and then put grep at the end. And then we're looking for text files, so .txt, and once I hit enter, it will filter out the entire thing from this, from all of this, to only the files that end in .txt, so apple.txt, pineapple.txt, and pear.txt. So that's the grep command. It's a very powerful command, and it's really nice in the sense where you use grep at the end of a pipe to filter out all the garbage, and you get what you need, okay? The next command I'm going to show you is locate. This command is a faster version of find, and it's a lot easier to use. So first you're going to do is install it, so app get install m locate. Then once it's done installing, you want to do update db, right? This stands for update database. All this does is it creates a file on the computer that lists out every single file and the path to that file. So every time you make changes to the computer, like remove a file or add a file, you want to do update db so the path to, the, to that file you're looking for is the most current and you don't have any uh, ghost files. I'll show you what I mean by that. For right now, let's start off by typing in locate and then the file we're looking for. In this case, let's look for orange.jpg and we see that orange.jpg is in home slash sam and it's also in this directory. Locate can also be used to find a specific file type, so we type in locate, and then let's look for all the text files on the computer. You see that there are all of these text files on this computer, and you can sift through it and find what you're looking for. This is where grep comes in, comes in handy. So if we do locate.txt, and we're looking for a specific file, let's say apple.txt, and we just type in grep apple. We find out that right here, home slash cp apple.txt and home slash cp pineapple.txt, right? 
So grep is super useful with filtering out the garbage once again. So using these commands together is really nice and can save you a lot of time. Now by ghost files, what I mean is, let's say if I were to remove uh, orange.jpg, right? And I do locate orange.jpg, locate will tell me that orange.jpg is still located in home slash sam. If I do an ls, there is no orange. But if I were to do a update db, and then do locate orange.jpg, home slash sam is gone and we're only left with this. So anytime you want to make changes, make sure you update the database. So that'll be it for these three commands. I highly recommend on your own time you look for flags for finding grep. Finding more flags allows you to do much more than look for file names for specific file types. And combining these commands together like we did with locate and grep and find and grep will make your life a lot easier when you're looking for a specific file on the computer.